Welcome to iLecture Online. For those who like mathematical puzzles, here's a very good one for you. We have a very challenging, what I would consider a bird problem. Let's assume we have two trains. And at time equals zero, the two trains are 100 kilometers apart from one another. The trains are moving towards one another at 50 kilometers per hour. And for a moment, let's assume that they're on separate tracks so they will not collide. You can see then, if they're each traveling at 50 kilometers per hour, that after exactly one hour, they will meet at the exact same spot, halfway in between the total distance that they're currently apart. Let's say that we have a bird, kind of a super bird, that can fly very fast, and the bird, at time equals zero, will begin to fly from the position of the first train on the left here towards the train on the other, other side. Now, of course, while the bird is flying to the right, the train there is moving to the left. At some point, the bird will reach the other train, will instantaneously turn around. Remember, it's a super bird. You can just simply turn around, fly back instantaneously at the same speed that it flew to the right, and then fly towards the train on the left. The only information that we have is that the first round trip, by the time the bird reaches the train on the way back, the train here will have moved a certain distance and the bird will have reached that train after 0.5 hours. The question is, how fast did the bird fly? Well, that's the first question. There's a second question. Find the total distance flown by the bird by the time the two trains meet. And finally, the more challenging question perhaps, find the number of round trips. All right, so again, let's think about it. The bird flies at time equals zero, so it starts here at t sub naught, when time equals zero. When the trains are 100 kilometers apart, the bird begins to fly this way. By the time, of course, it meets the other train, the other train will have moved a certain distance. The bird will instantaneously turn around, fly back, and of course, by the time the bird then meets the first train, that first train will have moved a distance like this. Of course, we don't know the exact distance at this point. Then the bird will turn around, fly back, and of course that train will have moved again. Turn around, fly back, and this train will have moved again. The bird will continue to do that until the two trains move, uh, meet. So, the idea is, how fast does the bird fly? What is the total distance the bird has flown by the time the two trains meet? And finally, how many round trips did the bird make before the trains come together? Now, we're going to let you try this on your own. We're not going to solve it in this video. We're going to shoot a second video with the first solution. We're going to answer part A and part B in the second video. And then finally, in the third video, we're going to answer the final question, find the number of total trips the bird takes back and forth by the time the two trains meet. So give it a try. Try really hard. Don't give up so quickly. Finally, when you want to see what the solution looks like, take a look at the other videos that are coming up. Have fun with it.